Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you an overview of the Samsung Behold for T-Mobile service. And this is really an overview of all Samsung devices using this TouchWiz widget-based interface. So that's the Samsung Eternity, the Omnia, ton of different devices that use the same interface. So let me go ahead and show you here. So this Samsung is not running a smartphone OS, it's just running on Samsung's proprietary operating system, but it does have the widgets that are common amongst all TouchWiz devices. So let me show you. First thing you'll notice is there's a little arrow up in the upper left hand corner. If you touch that, it pulls out a list of little widgets and you can simply scroll through this whole list to find the widgets that you like. So I'll go through each one with you to show you what they are. So for example, right here on the home screen, I've got a T-Mobile My Faves. If you have a widget on the home screen, you can select it with your finger and move it around. And if you don't want it, you can drag it right back into the bar. You can choose which widgets are shown. You can customize them in the settings menu. I'll show you in a minute. But I'll walk you through real quickly what your widget choices are. So the first thing you have is this globe. Drag it out to the home screen. That globe gives you, opens up the browser. And essentially all that globe does is launch your browser, which I'll get to in just a minute. Exit. So the next widget that you have is a little music note, and not surprisingly, controls your music functions. So we'll drag both of these back. Next one you saw is a T-Mobile My Faves. That's a pretty standard fare for most T-Mobile phones. Little envelope right there takes you right to your messages. Next one, I am, which I know a lot of folks are interested in using this as a messaging device. It is a very capable messaging device coming preloaded with AIM, ICQ, Windows Live, and Yahoo Messengers. Go ahead and drag both of those back. There's a tips, which will give you tips for the device. Little magnifying glass there, which those that use Mac OS X are familiar with. It's just a search. Drag that back. Put this one out here, my account. It'll actually take you to the web and give you all information for your T-Mobile account. It really is quite handy. This one right below you guys have probably seen quite a bit. That is Telenav. This is a GPS equipped phone, so it'll give you turn by turn directions and it's fully Java based. This little guy right here with the arrows coming out. As you can hear by the robotic voice, it launches voice command. And the voice command is actually fantastic. You can call a number, you can look up, you can check your minutes. Very handy. This little guy here is a calendar, obviously. Little guy to control your Bluetooth. Tell you what day it is. Compose a message, that little envelope with a pen. That one launches all your games. This one right here takes you right to your voicemail. And this is a handy little clock. And this you can set for world time. So if your family is in another time zone or friends in another time zone, you can keep track of where they are. This is one that's very useful. It'll keep track of all your birthdays coming up. And the last one that we have available are your upcoming events. You can drag those back. And you can put as many widgets as you want on your home screen, or as many as you can fit, and you can move them around and customize them. So I promised I'd show you what the widgets interface looks in the menu, so let me show you that. You go to menu, hit settings. You notice this is all touchscreen based, and as I hit the menu option, I'm getting a little bit of haptic feedback, which actually is very responsive. Widget, and you can see they're all right there. Everything that I just ran through with you, and you can see it's flick scrolling as well, with a very accurate physics engine. So meaning when I touch it, it scrolls down and comes back up. So let's go back to the main screen. Um, let me show you what the web browser looks like. So I'll go ahead and hit web. And this is a full HTML capable web browser. So I've got YouTube queued up right here. It does take you to the mobile version of YouTube. And I know one of the questions that I got a lot on this phone is, can you watch YouTube videos? So let me show you how to do it. Quickly, the answer is yes. So here we got President Obama's speech from last night. We'll go ahead and click that. 
and I'm just over a 3G network. This is not a Wi-Fi equipped phone. Watch video. And it launches a proprietary Samsung media player. You can see loading right there, queues up in landscape, and starts playing. You can make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit smaller, depending, control your volume. The quality is not the best. It's good enough, it's watchable, it's listenable, but you're not gonna get HD resolution on here and just accept the quality is not gonna be the best, but it is nice to be able to watch YouTube videos. Go ahead and exit out of here. Exit browser, yes. So, seeing as this doesn't have a keyboard, most people are gonna to wanna to know how is the software keyboard. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what the software keyboard looks like. I'll take advantage of the widget to create a message. Tap here to start typing. And notice that you get a landscape keyboard. This also has an accelerometer built in, so when you rotate it, you get your standard T9 keyboard. I prefer the QWERTY, and this is actually a very accurate QWERTY keyboard. As you start typing, it pulls off the letters to the side, um, actually quite nicely and easily. So you can see what you're typing, and actually it is quite accurate. And you notice that as I go, it starts auto-correcting and picking, picking words for me, which is really nice. As you hit space, it will pick the word that you use. Really is a nice and handy feature, and the keyboard is very usable, one of the more usable soft keyboards that I've seen. So guys, it's just a real quick software overview. Exit out of here. There we go. Of the Samsung Behold for T-Mobile. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for a full review in the coming days. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.